Hello everyone, my name is Kenny Cormandy from the YouTube channel My Air Gun Reviews and today we are going to review a couple of pellets. We are going to be comparing the Gamo Red Fire to the Predator Polymag in 177 caliber. They are both uh, polymer tipped lead pellets, basically very similar construction. The Gamo Red Fires are 7.8 grain and the Predator Poly Mags are 8 grain. Uh, I'm going to judge them on a few things. The first comparison is price. I checked the top five retailers for uh, the cost of the pellets and the Gamo Red Fires average six dollars and eight cents per 100 pellets and the Predator Poly Mags cost six dollars and 59 cents on average for 100 pellets. So Gamo wins the price war. They are about a half a cent cheaper per pellet and also on packaging as you can see the Gamo Red Fires come in a round tin with 150 pellets in it. The Predator Poly Mags come 200 pellets to this little bitty tiny tin and they are compressed so tight that when you open it up the top pops right up and you open it up and there's many bent skirts in there. Uh, they're just, this tin might hold at the most 175 pellets. They should not be trying to pack 200 pellets into this little tin. So, Gamo actually wins the packaging war. And the next category that uh, based on is muzzle energy. The Gamo Red Fires uh, using the same gun. It's not a real high powered gun, but it's a consistent gun and an accurate gun. And the Gamo Red Fires averaged 11.84 foot pounds muzzle energy. The Predator Poly Mags averaged 14.23 foot pounds of muzzle energy. Now that is 20% more power than the Gamma Red Fires. So the Predator Poly Mags definitely win the muzzle energy battle. The Red Fires had a uh, low of 808.3, a high of 846.4, an average of 826.6 feet per second with a 38.1 uh, FPS extreme spread. The Predator Poly Mags had a low of 890.2 feet per second and high of 899.3 feet per second, an average of 894.8 feet per second, with only a 9.13 foot per second extreme spread. Standard deviation on that pellet was. 13.46. So we are getting 20% more muzzle energy out of the Predator Poly Mags than we are the Gamma Red Fires. And the last and most important is the accuracy test. I ended up doing the accuracy test twice. The first time I was, they were shooting so far away from where the other pellets have been shooting with this gun I had to keep zeroing the scope in and when I finally got the pellets near the 10 ring then that shot and the next four were recorded and when I got to the Predator Poly Mags uh, same problem they were shooting high I had to adjust the scope downward till I was hitting that 10 ring and then that first one in the 10 ring plus the next four is what's recorded and I wasn't really happy with that so I decided to wait for all the rain to pass and all the wind to pass because that was a very windy day and I went out there and I did it again. Using a target with four targets on it I would sight it in down here and then I would do the actual accuracy test up here and then the next pellet I would sight it in down here and do the accuracy test up here. 
and I did fine through the Gamo Red Fires and then the seat broke off my shooting bench my new shooting bench and I had to go in and I had to weld this pivot stud back onto the plate that's bolted to the bottom of the seat and the wire jammed in the wire feed welder and I had to fix that and by the time I got it all fixed and ready to go it was getting pretty dark and I was running out of light as a matter of fact while sighting in for the poly mags I had to come down here and get a shooting sea target to stick on there so I could see where they were hitting and then I did the actual accuracy test for the poly mags and I only did a good job on maybe two of the five shots the first shot the second shot and the fifth shot were all off so the third and fourth were the only accurate ones so I decided I'm going to combine both uh, shooting tests and uh, you can see uh, the big difference between the Gamble Red Fires and the Predator Polymags. So let's go to the first target test which was on the windy day and then we'll go to the second one which was a calmer day but still nothing went right. So. Let's take a look at that. Well, as you can see, uh, on both days, the Gamo Red Fires shot the same all over the place. The Predator Poly Mags, uh, you know, once I got the rifles uh, sighted in, uh, we got a really nice pattern. And on the second day where I was not doing my job, you can still see that they were shooting a pretty good pattern. It was uh, shooter error the whole way. So, uh, and even with the shooter error, they were still more accurate. So, the Predator Polymags are the definite winner here. I'll uh, put up my scorecard here. As you can see, the Predator Polymags are the clear winner. They definitely have the muzzle energy and they do have the accuracy they could do a little bit of work on the packaging I think pricing is probably okay uh, there you pay a little bit more than you do for the Gamo Red Fires but you get a whole lot more as far as quality as a matter of fact I'm gonna put up a picture of the poly mags here and then I'm gonna put up a picture of the Gamo Red Fires and you can see the indeficiencies in the pictures of these pellets so let's take a look at that
Okay, there you have it. The clear winner is the Predator Polymags. Uh, Predator, yeah, either cut back to 175 pellets in this tin or get a bigger tin. You're trying to pack 10 gallons of shit into a 5 gallon bucket. That doesn't work. Yeah, let's get quit throwing uh, good pellets away because they have bent skirts. My name is Kenny Cormandy from the YouTube channel Meyer Gun Reviews. And thank you for watching.